Greetings, everyone. Listen, in this video, I really want you to understand where I'm coming from. And I feel very emotional, but I'm going to try my best not to, you know, show too much emotions because we have to control that. But thanks for everyone who um, are sending me suggestions for next week's videos. I just want to engage you in that process and provide you with content that you actually like. So this is why I ask for your suggestions. But in today's video, I just want to talk about why my platform is underperforming. As some people would say, they might not put it in that way, but I'm going to speak on it. Those of you who are here for a long time, you have seen a variety of different topics and you see the videos that tend to do very well. And I'm going to say here, first and foremost, that I'm a person of integrity. And I stand on that. And I'm a very spiritual person. And so I don't allow my senses to rule me. I go with the spirit. And when I started this platform, I did so sharing some painful situations that I had been through in my life and speaking the truth. If you go into the about section, you will see that's what I promise. I will speak about the truth without tongue in cheek. Okay. Now, I have individuals from time to time that send me topics that they want me to speak on. And sometimes these individuals, you know, want me to talk on controversial issues that very powerful people are involved with. Or, you know, if you think you're on social media and you're not being observed, then you're silly or you're kidding yourself. Because I did some very controversial topics um, on the platform. And I'm going to say this and it's not arrogance. None of these people in the Jamaican community has more to offer than I do. Absolutely nobody that you see on YouTube can run circles around me because God has blessed me with intellect, has blessed me with spiritual insight, has blessed me with so many things that I know people need. And I have underperformed and I have had to prove to myself and to others that I know how to make content that can get views. But here's the thing, those content that I produce that does garner 80,000, 90,000, 100,000 or whatever views. These are videos where it touches on sensitive topic like relationships, for example, individuals who are exhibiting their relationship on social media and sometimes behave in ways that I think is not right. And so I speak on this never with malice, never with coming with this judgment, just trying to say to my people, listen, be careful what you share. You know, and if I see people sharing, it's their own life, their own choices. They share a story and frankly overshare a lot on their personal life. I will come and say, okay, you know, guys, be good to each other. When it comes to relationship on the black family, we know the story. Many of us have grown up in broken homes. And so when I get involved with this relationship and just give my two cents on it, it's always to get people to really reflect on what they're doing. But there are individuals on the platform that recognize that vulgarity, they, re they realize that people uh, who likes to pretend like they're decent, but they don't want decency. They want scandalous things. They want these um, stories out here that make you grab for your pearls. And so if I touch on these topics, it's often to let people think, to remind them that this is a social uh, media space and the whole it's a whole wide web web it's not your bedroom um so when you do those videos you're gonna get views and you're gonna get people coming to argue back and forth and whatever the story is because listen as older women and i'm going to be honest here a lot of the people you see going on with these scandalous behavior on social media in terms of cussing and going back and forth they're mature women now when i built my platform i didn't build it in mind to come and make videos, to jump on every topic uh, where I see people suffering or I see 
people going through a rough time. I really don't want to make my money on other person's suffering. That's really what I want to say. So it really has affected me and hurt my feelings to say, wow, like people really don't want, you know, the encouragement. And I'm not speaking in general because I have people watch me who reach out to me all the time and say, Jenny, you have no idea how you blessed me. I'm not, re re I'm not speaking about these individuals. I'm just saying to, to, to warrant huge followings to, to war or to warrant um, individuals coming back. Um, a lot of time people want drama. People want this kind of thing. That's not to say that there are others who are not growing on their platform and that they're not doing very well and there's no drama. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying for me, from what I can see, this is what people would generally want. And listen, as I said earlier, I don't want to get my wealth or my livelihood from other people's suffering. Therefore, I cannot continue to put, just look, get up in the morning and search to see who is having problems and who break up with who and who is this and who is that. And when I'm talking on a topic where people are obviously hurting, I seem to be salivating on it. That's not who I am. Therefore, the interest might not be there. I have clearly seen that this channel, um, you know, has whatever is going on with it. And I have accepted it because I'm not going to sell my soul. And here's another thing that I learn and know about my community. This is why I cannot come out here and just have, speak like I have verbal diarrhea and just jump in everything. People who are powerful have the tools to cancel you in a moment. It's not that they're stronger than God, but if, if the spirit doesn't give it me to me to deliver, I'm not touching it. If the spirit doesn't come to me and say, speak on this, I'm not going to speak on any controversial issue because after I'm done and I might get a couple penny from YouTube, who's going to be left with the problems? Who's going to be left dealing and fighting battles after battles? I am still fighting battles in my life because I dare to speak up. I dare to protest because I don't come out here and share it with all of you. You will never understand. And I just have to deal with it. I choose what I share on social media and I choose the topics that I speak on because unless it concerns me or my family, if the battle in defending myself or my family is one that will cost me financial well-being or life or limb, that it's worth it. But to just come out and just talk about these very powerful situations that are happening in the world. When at the end of the day, I have, what, what back team do I have? What support do I have? Who will I turn to? Who will be my defender? You see what I'm saying? So I don't want to build my platform on the back of others. I will talk on topics that I see that might move me or the spirit might move me to speak on. And it might be of a personal nature, but I'm not going to dwell on it. And I don't want to make a hundred topics. And I don't get up in the morning looking for people's misery to thrive off. That's not who I am. And sometimes I wish I was that way, but it's not who I am. Um, I have tried to do a lot of work in my own community. And every single time I have been disappointed. I have been hurt because I always offer myself, not as a living sacrifice as I used to, but I offer myself with pureness in my heart. And I've always gotten hurt by my own people. I've always felt great empathy for my own people. And I've always tried to provide something different from what they're accustomed, but our people don't know love. And when you try to show them love, what you get in exchange is hate, resentment, you know, and all kinds of betrayal. I want to talk about betrayal. Many of you can relate to this. So if it means that providing the type of content that I provide with clarity, with integrity, is not going to allow the platform to grow, then there's nothing I can do because my faith and my trust is in the most high. Listen, making content for YouTube is a job, but I don't work for people. I work for the most high. I work for the Holy Spirit. And if the Holy Spirit chooses not to reward me, there's nothing I can do. I could get into my feelings all I want. I just do and I go, I make the video, I leave it, and someone reaches out to say, you touched me, then that's all that matters. 
I cannot compromise my standards because I want to make money. I can't compromise my integrity because I want fame and fortune because those things are a mirage. They're not even real. Because if I have a million people say I love you today, tomorrow the same ones will tell me I can't stand you. There are people who watch my channel um, with hatred. There are individuals who follow me up, want to see everything that I post and they don't like me. So I don't walk around thinking, oh, I have these supporters and these fans that are uh, so much in love with me. People manifest that or show who they are and how they feel about me over time. And I appreciate those who show genuine love. But I can't go with the crowd. And at this point, if you knew what was going on in my life, you would understand that I stand on nothing else but pure integrity and a love for God. Okay? And a trust in God. Trust in the Holy Spirit. Because at this time, I should be doing the scandalous topics. I should be looking for everything I could jump on. Because I, could, I need what that's going to bring in terms of monetary flow. I need it. But I refuse. If carried myself a certain way, if being a person of integrity is something that doesn't pay, then, you know, so let it be a surrender to that. But I'm never going to stop trusting my God. I'm never going to stop lifting up my hand and calling upon my spirit beings and my guides to say, I trust you. And you would never abandon me. You would never turn away from me. You would not stop showing mercy to me because I trust you and you alone. And I'm not going to sell my soul. I won't. I'm not going to sell my soul. I'll continue to do topics that I think liberate not just other persons, but me. And at the moment, if it's not recognized on this space, in this space, it will be recognized somewhere else. And there's someone who's watching this, I'm going to say to you, don't watch other people what they're doing. Go through whatever it is you're going through. Don't sell your soul. Don't sell your soul for a dollar. Trust God and know that everything works together for good. And that as long as you put your faith and your trust in God, you cannot fail. There might be setbacks. There might be limitation to some of the things that you want to do or achieve in your life. But know that God has your back. Stay blessed, everyone.